Wow, black man. No matter where you go. How many black people know where there is a bunker? I said we don't have no food to eat. In case the nuclear weapon explodes. No you Do you know where to go? Every day, every day. How many black men have some food for us? In case there's a war. How many black men have some water? Save us. Hid in some place. In case of a war. That is my question. Because, listen black men, the United States got to fight until the last man in Ukraine Die. Do you understand me? They have to fight until the last man in Ukraine die. Russia cannot win. That's what they're saying. And who are they? The white European and the North America white man. That's what they're saying. So we have to have a war. And the God of this Bible and the Jesus of this Bible is not going to save you. Hello? He is not going to save you. Because the white man said he's going to fight until the last man die in Ukraine. So tell me what you don't understand. You think you're bullshitting you? And you're sending all these weapons there? And you're warning China not to send any weapon to Russia? And they're warning North Korea not to send a new weapon to Russia? And they're warning Iran not to send any weapon to Russia? But they're all sending weapon to Ukraine. Name it. England, Israel, what? Name all of them. Canada, Norway, Denmark. So what do you think you're planning to do, black people? You think you're just sending their weapon there for no reason? Or you think you're bullshit talking? Who are they you're talking about? I'm talking about the white man. The white man is sending all his weapons. Africa is not sending any weapon. They have nothing to send. They can't send no food and they cannot send any weapon because they have none of that. And look how big Africa is. And they do not have any food right now. Because Ukraine is not producing any grains. You don't think that's some bullshit? You don't think that's some bullshit? Ukraine is not producing any grain. So, Africa doesn't have any food. Because the leaders ain't shit. They ain't doing nothing for their people. And all they're doing, all they're doing for themselves. Have you ever been to Africa, black man? I see how they, how the place is. Three quarter of the people is messed up. The house is messed up. 
I don't call those hoes. I call them, I would call them hot. They're not even hot. Hot is better. When I was growing up, I there were families in the village and they build their huts from the bamboo and the coconut straw and the cow straw and I will help and the mud. As a little boy, I go with my friends to their family home and the father will cut up the grass and I stamp in the grass, stamp in it with the mud until it come to what they want it to be. And the man will pick it up in his hand and slap it on the wall. I learned myself. I know the bill of hat. I'm just telling you things that you don't understand. Wasting my time. <coughs> because you do, you're pleasure seeking. So you're not going to understand what I'm saying. Most people are new to their pleasure seekers. They're not trying to get overstanding. What I'm saying, I go with the man and he pick the mods up, pour the water in, put the straw in there, and stamp, strumple it. And when it comes to maturity, he take it up and slap on the wall. And I go myself as a little boy, I was seven, eight, nine years, slap it on the wall too, with my friend. And when it dry, crack all over, and they live inside. When the rain falls and fall too much, they have a few leaks from the top. Because they were not rich people. And most of the people in the Highlands, they have those hot long time ago. My grandfather had one too. And then he built a wood house, four bedroom wood house, high, way up off the floor, off the ground. You can get out of there and play pity pack. He tied the goats under there. When the rain is falling, he bring them from the field and he put them all underneath the house. And that's how they build the house in those days. They did not build them and slap. So what I'm telling you, I'm telling you things that I know for myself, not reading from books. You can learn from books, but you learn from another person. I learned from myself with the real Makai. So what I'm saying, black man, we gotta wake up. You can't sit back and turn and try to help our people. Black people dying from starvation. Okay. Said every day. We have nobody to help us. Have you ever think about it? And now the Chinese trying to help us and the white European is telling the, telling the black man, hey, stay away from the Chinese. They're going to put you into a death trap. You, you see how smart these guys are? And the people cannot see the black man. He can't see shit. He's so blind, Harley can see Jesus. That's how blind the black man is. All he can see is the man you call Jesus. He can't see nothing else. And the book you call the Bible. He don't want to hear shit from what you're saying. He care less. If Jesus was black or Jesus was white, so what? He care less. He don't want to hear nothing beside about Jesus. And about the Bible. It's like we got a preacher. He say, I don't want to hear nothing but Bible. He forget that the Bible were not here from the beginning of time. Man came out of existence. And men put this together. This one not here, man been here before this. This made from paper and ink. And who wrote it? The white European. But they're going to go off in all type of crazy shit. And they're going to they're going to they're going to blend it out their way so they can still fool their people. 
And that's what's going on. So what I'm saying, black men, we got to wake up. We got to wake up. We can't sit back and try to rely on the white man. Because he never helped you in his doing. He abused you in his doing. He's not going to help you. Because that's not his way of doing things. Huh. That's not his way of doing things. His ways are destructive. Tell me why you, why you can't understand that. It's like a pig. The pig ways are destructive. And when it's too hot, he go in the mud and lay down. And he will also lay down in the mud when it's cold. Because that's his way. So you can't change him. You cannot change him from laying into the mud. And it is the same way with the white man. He's not of nature, so you can't change what he's doing. And he's going to bring him to everything. Because he's waiting for the last man to die in Ukraine before we stop this war. So it's begging everybody, come on, send this there, send that there, send more guns, send more, send more dynamite. And you're going on unconcerned, like you can't understand what he's doing. I'm concerned. When he's trying to, he's, you know what, I'm getting upset. So you know what? Call me up and watch the show. Respect to all the black men.